in the air, Srishan takes it! India win! Unbelievable scenes here at the ball ring. MS Dhoni got it right in the end. India, the world champions. Big shot, leg side, sixer! That's it, India win. That is brilliantly done. India win the Champions Trophy as England capitulate. The winners of the Champions Trophy 2013, India. Look at that catch, super catch. <laughs> That's huge. Outside edge. Good catch by MS Dhoni. Great shot. That's a fierce square cut. It's gone to the boundary like a tracer bullet. Dhoni finishes off in style. India lift the World Cup. After 28 years, the party is started in the dressing room. And it's uh, an Indian captain who's been absolutely magnificent in the night of the final. Looking at MS Dhoni's keeping, well, it's purely homemade. It's very much his own way of doing things behind the stumps. It's not manufactured. It's certainly nothing that you'd see walk straight out of the textbook of wicket keeping. The reason he is so effective behind the stumps, in my view, is that he's such a wonderful athlete. Got him. Look at that catch, super catch. He possesses power, speed, agility, and he's got reflexes like a cat. Speak to any spinner, his ability up at the stumps is phenomenal. His speed in taking those bales off is second to none. Yeah, the ball chance, and he gets the wicket. Donny the keeper was, was quite unique. He was different in that he was self-made almost. You wouldn't say that his footwork or, or some of his glove work was out of a textbook, but he made himself into a very efficient keeper, and particularly when he was standing up to the stumps, he was street smart. And you often hear people say, no mess, no fuss. With his wicket keeping, he was no fuss, but you never saw a mess. Um, he was very solid behind the stumps. He wasn't flamboyant, but boy, oh boy, did he get his job done. Here we go, last ball through the offside. It's running through, it could be run out. Is he run out? He's got him. That's it, India win. Sometimes when you have one skill that is so powerful, it tends to overshadow another skill. It was like the great Wade Richards, one of the greatest fielders of all time and you'd never realized it because his batting was that good. You look at Dhoni and you say, was he a natural keeper? Did he look like Ian Heaney? Did he look like Jack Russell Allen? Not. Did he look like, uh, did he look like Saha or Kirmani? But he found his own way. And I don't think there is a quicker stumper than MS Dhoni and that's because his hands were just so quick. He was almost like a doubles player at the net. His hands were that quick and the speed with which he took off the field. So I always say he was the fastest, hand, fastest hands in the East and people criticized me saying, no, he's got the fastest hands in the game. Done just when it was getting a little tense for India. His relationship also with the bowler is so important as well. He reads the game and he shares that vision 
with the bowler and he's in partnership with the bowler, which is a very important attribute for any wicketkeeper. So he's a person that a team, and more importantly, the bowler can trust behind the stumps. Teams really appreciate that type of, of leadership from their wicketkeeper specifically. His contributions are manifold, but as a keeper, as a communicator, as a reader of the game, second to none. Oh dear, now where is the back foot? I think that's the key. He's given it well. And with keepers, when something stands out, you realize why for so many years nothing was standing out because he was that good.